everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a double and a triple swing card. So I made a swing card about a month ago and I'll link that one up here because it's a really popular video and lots of you have been making that one. But during my last Facebook Live craft along, I the intention was to make the triple and then during the live I die cut the wrong size, actually a larger size square. And I was like, oh no, I wasn't meant to do that. And then I thought, hold on a minute, let's make it a double. And everybody in chat was saying, don't waste it, make it a double, make it a double. And it's actually turned out really well. And I love this one. Whenever I use the Secret Garden Collection by Dovecraft, I always go over the top. You'll see all that I've even used this tiny little kind of um, trowel or spade. Well, no, there's your spade, isn't it? Anyway, you know what I mean. So and you've got your little trowel and fork. There we go little you know embellishments the bunting this is one from the collection and i've used some of the nouveau drops there as well and i've just heat embossed the happiness is enjoying your retirement which i think works really well with this collection and then inside you have lots of room there i've left this blank because it's a retirement card lots of people tend you tend to write a little bit more i think with a retirement card so i've left that plain inside there for whoever you know does use this one and then this was the triples so this was this was my you know kind of intended card that i wanted to make and it's using the really cool for the love of stamps hammy birthday um, stamp set and then inside there I've stamped and finished it all off so during the live I didn't finish them both I'd done all of everything you know it was all in it was done in that sense but it wasn't fully decorated so some of you that watch the live will know that I've changed this because this was green this was stamped in black I just wasn't really feeling it so I've gone for this which is all still from the collection and then I just thought I'd show you quite a I guess this is quite young, more for children and with the stamped images so you get that kind of effect I love the bunting in there that's all die cut and then this one here is using the collection, so a lot of it's done for you, so I just fussy cut. And these pieces I actually fussy cut, then stuck them to some thicker cardstock and then cut them out again. So it actually gives you a really nice thick kind of embellishment to work with. But both of them I love. So today I'm going to show you both again, but I'm going to use the Paper Posies by Dovecraft. And also, because this is 5 by 7 you need to obviously die cut these apertures. Now, the width of your card is 7, so a lot of people that have a standard size die machine, you wouldn't be able to fit this through. But what I've done, you'll see here, is it's connected on the back. And I've done that just to show you that you can do this using a smaller die machine. And then if you have your large A4 die machines, you'll see here this is just a solid 5 by 7 card because that one you just put through your larger die machine. Okay, so I'll do that again today just so that, you know, everybody can really make this card. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, because I'm going to be doing two cards today, I'm going to try and keep the video quite short. So I've already done, you know, quite a few bits and pieces already and I will speed up lots of the decoration. But this is the Paper Posies. Loads of you have this. It's a beautiful collection. It has so many like matching embellishments and decoupage pads and things like that. So that's what I've used. And then here you can see I've just got a variety of some of the matching accessories that go with it. I'm not entirely sure you know, what ones I'm going to use yet, but I thought I'd just bring them all out. I've also taken out all of the extras from the decoupage pack. I fussy cut these because I think I'm going to use them on the triple. And I've also got the wood embellishments, which are beautiful because I may use them on the double. So what you will need, depending on what size die machine you have. OK, so if you've got a small standard six inch wide die machine, OK, then you will need one piece of five and a half by seven card and along the five and a half inch side you want to score at half an inch okay that's the front of the card then you'll just want a piece of five by seven and once we've die cut that front piece we will then just stick this onto there like so you can stick it inside or outside because I've done that one outside I'll probably stick this one inside and then I can decide which one I prefer when I go to make it again then for the inside piece because we attach this at the end this is a piece of ten by seven and along the 10 inch side you want to score at two and a half five and seven and a half but you could also use this this could have already been a five by seven card blank and if that's the case make sure it's bang on five by seven and again just pop it in and you'll just need to score at two and a half or seven and seven and a half okay so that's if you're making it as a deconstructed one if you've got a larger a4 die cutting machine just to make it a bit easier all you'll need is two five by seven card blanks so there they are you know as you buy them in the shop this one I've just put my mats and layers on which I'll talk you through in a moment and then this is that inside piece so again along the 10 inch side you just want to score at two and a half and seven and a half because it will already have that five inch score line if it doesn't and you're cutting it yourself then you need to add that in as well 
As always, all these measurements will be in my blog, but hopefully, you know, I've just, like I said, done all those bits and pieces just to keep it, you know, the videos short as I can. The mats and layers are my standard ones, so if it's five by seven, I always do four and three quarters by six and three quarters, and then on this one, you'll see I've done the four and three quarters by six and three quarters with the like coral colour, and then I've done four and a half by six and a half with the pattern paper. Now, one quick thing I need to say that I did say in the video, if you're doing mats and layers on this, you want to use paper. Don't use a cardstock because you're gonna be die cutting through obviously more layers of card. So for example, the paper posies is 150 GSM. You want around that or even lower if possible. Now, if you've got one of like the Gemini machines, you've got your metal shim, that will cut through anything. That cuts through thick acetate. So you'll probably be okay, but do bear that in mind. So this is paper on both of these, even that coral as well. And I've gone and cut that for the insides, but I'll do that again with you, you know, explain those sizes and stuff in a moment. This one here, I want to be, let me just check. So this one is gonna be my triple. So it's up to you whether you wanna do a triple or a double. So for the triple one, I want to cut these three circles, one, two, three. And you'll see there, you can use circles, squares, rectangles, it's entirely up to you. And if you haven't already joined the Mixed Up Crafters Facebook group, head over there because already so many ladies and guys are sharing their versions from watching the Facebook Live. So, you know, that's using the squares. Like I said, I'm doing circles today, but there's people that have used rectangles. And I think someone was talking about using stars as well. So you'll get heaps more inspiration over on that group. So. You want to, you know, it's up to you. You could start from the centre first and then work up and along the bottom. I'm just going to start from the top. Now you want to, I said in the live, it's probably quite handy if you just pop a little pencil mark halfway, okay, along the top here. So I'm just going to pop, got lots of stuff on my desk at the moment. I've got about eight different tutorials going on right now. So there you go, two and a half and along the bottom here, two and a half, very faintly, because you want to be able to rub that out. And then the circle size that I'm using here is bang on two inches, okay? So I'm going to pop this one here and I'm going to start it, so the cut line is going to be about a quarter of an inch, inches down from that pencil mark, okay? And you want to make sure it's in the middle. Now I've got this kind of grid, you know, checked paper here. And this one here, this blue line here coming down, is kind of in the centre. So I'm using that as my guide. Now I pop a little bit of washi tape in the middle. We do kind of, you can reuse them, but you can always cut them again. But put your washi tape in there and get it die cut. Then come down and do the bottom one and come up the same from whatever you came down there. So about a quarter of an inch. When you've die cut those two, die cut the centre. And you'll see me do all that, but I will speed it up. So that's for the triple. Then for the double, you want to make sure you open it up because you're going to run this through your larger die machine. But for this one here, I'm using this larger circle here because I want to put a sentiment in the middle. And we all really liked the look that that gave because again, that was you know completely by accident. So this is two and three eighths of an inch. Um, it's not squared. It's just a two and three eighth of an inch diameter. But I'm going to have this one here. So I'm probably coming down about half an inch. Again, mark your halfway point. I'm going to do half an inch there and then I'll come up half an inch. And you will have a nice gap here where we can pop in, you know, I'm not sure what sentiment I'm gonna have there yet, but you kind of get the idea. So I'm gonna run those through now the dye machine and then I'll be back and the rest of it's pretty straightforward and quick to do. Okay, so I've got my two circles for the double and then I have the three there for the triple. Now keep all of these pieces because you will use them again. You might end up cutting them a little bit smaller, but I'll explain that in a moment. So next we want to add the inside pieces, but for the deconstructed one, so if you've done this one here, you want to stick it to this one. So it's up to you whether you want to add glue to the inside and stick it so it's on the outside like so or you might decide, like I'm gonna to do, to put your glue on this outside piece and then stick this one on the inside because you're gonna have that kind of um, concertina fold over this, so you're not really gonna see it. So we'll try it, see what it's like, and then Lisa and I've done both ways and I can decide you know, which one I prefer later on when I go to make it again. So I'm just gonna add 
the colour out all down here. Also, you may have seen me when I was using the dye machine that I use a sheet of copy paper in between. That will stop you getting any markings that may come off your plates onto your pattern paper. So it's a good way just to kind of protect the card. So I'm just going to stick that over there. So we formed back our you know five by seven card blank like so. So I'll leave that one to just dry for a minute. So you'll have two pieces like this where you've scored at two and a half, maybe at five, and also then at seven and a half. What's going to happen is you want to have a mountain, mountain, valley fold. So you want to have that shape. Okay. And I'm just going to burnish that. I keep looking for my. I'll use this one misplacing my other bone folder. So a mountain, mountain, and then that valley fold. And what will happen is it's going to stick like that and stick like that. You see? And you'll see there that you want that to run pretty much central through your circles. Don't worry if it's a little bit off, but it's bang on. You can see my pencil line there. I'm just maybe two millimetres off, but I'm fine with that. But you can see there, it's pretty much bang on through the middle. Now, we obviously don't want to see any of this bit here, because it needs to be stuck against this piece so it pops out, so you want this all hidden. Now, you can draw around this with a pencil, and then you could die cut just that bit. You don't want to die cut anything on here, but the easiest way to do it is to, along this score line here, measure whatever the gap is here. So for me, it's just under half an inch. So I'm going to do three eighths of an inch at this end here on that score line. And then I'm going to do three eighths of an inch on that one there. And then I'll do three eighths here. And again, just use this end, three eighths, which will be there. Then I can join up those lines like so. And then when you sit this on here, so I can see that the pencil line is going to, you know, we're going to cut all this away basically, but this is what's going to attach behind here, this three eighths of an inch strip. And also here, I'm just going to bring my pencil down, put a little marker there and there. So you want to roughly, you know, your circle might be slightly different to mine, although I said it was what is two whatever inches it was. Um, but I've just made a gap there, which is one and one eighth, one and a quarter, just about. So I'm just going to eyeball that one with my pencil, because I don't know the exact measurements, but you just want to get it straight. Once I cut this out, you'll know exactly what it is, because some of you might be thinking, I haven't got a clue what you're doing right now, Sam. But basically now, I'm going to remove, so let's cut down this one here, I'm going to remove the two large squares. So just cutting up to that first score line, like so. And again, and you won't end up seeing this, it's all going to be hidden inside the card. So, you know, don't worry if your lines are a little bit wobbly, you can hide it all. So, I'm just going to fold that one out of the way, and then I can just remove this whole piece, like so. And then I'm going to fold that one back and remove this second piece. Should have used my longer scissors. They're probably buried underneath all the other projects I have going on right now. But now you'll see, if I lay it that way, you will have this E. You see there, we've got the letter E. All right. Then I can now open this one up. So I'm going to grab my glue. I'm going to add glue to the outsides of those three sections, like so. And then you can lie it down in the card like that so these hit this score line and just bring this over like so and just move them around if you need to it's why it's good to use the liquid glue but that way as well you know everything will fold flat and just push it in a bit there if you need to like so so now we have this half where we, which is what we want because we'll be attaching the circles to that so that they then pop out like this when the card opens. So I'm just going to flip it over and I can just go in there. So like I said, you don't see any of this because unless you look in from like the top or something, but we're now going to stick that one onto this side here. So just add your glue. So, and then again, you can fold it all flat if you want. I'm just going to kind of 
lay it there first and then bring that all over like so. Okay, and then we've got that effect. So you can see it's all stuck inside there. So that's our mountain, mountain and valley fold. Okay, so I'm gonna let that one just dry. Then we've got this other piece for inside this one here. So again, I want to have my mountain, my mountain and then my valley fold. Now this one here, because we've got the triple, you're gonna have your pieces much thinner. So again, you can sit it down here, lay it over the top here, and if you want to, you can just, with a pencil, because again, everyone's measurement might be slightly different if you use a different size circle. But I'm just marking, so I've just laid that over there, along the, you know, so it's hitting halfway, so the, the widest part of the circle. I'm just putting a little pencil mark, you know, within this little bit here, because I'm going to cut down these to make those little strips. So whatever your strips are, they need to be hidden. You want them to be concealed. So again, I'm going to kind of eyeball this. I'm going to grab my longer scissors here. But if you haven't done this before, I would recommend, you know, getting your ruler and actually lining these up. You can see now I'm just going to cut down. So for the triple, it's a lot more, you know, it's, it's kind of clinging on, but it does work. Um, I'm using the Kalau throughout and I, I mentioned that again during the live. It's a very, very strong glue. It doesn't warp and it's it's like a little bit of cement, you know, so it, it really does strengthen and firm up your cards. So you'll see now, exactly the same as what I've done before, but they're just thinner and we've got four of them, four of these strips. Do make sure you get right up to that score line. Okay because if they start to fold up with you, then it's because you haven't gone kind of up to the, um, yeah, the score line there. I'm gonna fold those all out of the way, the little ones, because that's what we're keeping. Strangely enough, we wanna actually get rid of the largest pieces, so I'm just going to cut those away. Okay, so now we have these very thin pieces. And again, we're gonna do the same, so I'm gonna add my glue onto these. Now, you know, you might, some of you might be thinking, well, that's just not enough, but it is. There's no pressure on these. Um, you know, it's a card, so it's not like anyone's going to be swinging off them or anything like that. Um, it, it will be enough to hold it in place. So again, I'm sitting it down. They all hit that middle score line, so I can fold the card right over, and you'll see that they all hide within those four gaps here in between each of the circles. So again, just kind of Spend a minute making sure that's all hidden. Turn it over so again you can just go in there and make sure they are stuck down. And then I can add my glue now to this half. And then again just kind of tack it over onto that side and then fold the whole thing flat. If you've got anything hanging out the side you can just trim that away. Okay so now we have our triple and our double. Next, I'm gonna go on to this one now. Now, if you want to, you can reuse those pieces exactly the same size, stick them on there and, you know, go for it. But what I would say is that this was my um, my prototype and this is using the exact same sizes and it just catches, you imagine that's in the envelope, you've given it to that person, they go to open it, can you see, look, it's, it's just catching and you'd have to push them all through and that's not really very nice to the person that receives it. So what I recommend is that you trim these down ever so slightly. So for me, I've got my circle dies here and for that larger one, I have, I think this is the next size that would work. Let me just check. Yeah, so I could put this one on top of here and it will cut away all of the stitch detail, but it would just be enough to allow it not to catch now I also think these are going to look nicer in this colour here. So I'm actually going to die cut two in this colour. Die cut them so they're smaller, stick them on top because I do like that kind of contrast circle in the middle. So I'm going to get those prepared in, the mom in a moment and then I'm going to do the same for these three here. So I've got them there, that's the original size, sorry that was the original size but I've got one that's slightly smaller and again, I'm gonna die cut it all in this color here, and I'm gonna make them all slightly smaller. So you will have a very small white ring around all of these and the ones there. So I'm gonna get that all prepared and then I'll be back. 
Okay, so I've got all my pieces there. So now, when I pop this one on here and stick half of it, can you see we've just got that ring around there? And I just think it just gives you a bit of a, a just a better finish and it just allows the card to flow better and open and close nicely. So you won't, you know, definitely won't have any catching. Now you do want to stick only half of this. So I'm just going to kind of lay my finger across where that roughly is, like so. And then make sure that's straight, pop it on there. You just want to make sure you've got the same ring width all the way around. So that one's just sticking there. And you're going to do exactly the same with the triple one. Okay, and there's the triple. So now it's the fun part of decorating. So I will speed this up, but just to give you a rough idea of what I'm doing, I did go ahead and cut these three from one of the pattern papers. And I just think it's gonna look so nice because it matches the papers perfectly. And I'm gonna have those three right in the middle. So I'm not actually gonna have a sentiment on the front of this one. It may just be a nice little note card, just something to just send to someone. I might just stamp inside just because. So I just think that looks really nice as it is. I might put some bunting. I am partial to a little bit of bunting, but again, I'll probably add that along the way, but I'm definitely sticking with those three. This one here is a little bit different because I've got more room. Now, you don't want anything to catch, so they're probably not going to work. They can clip underneath, but I don't think it looks as nice, so I won't use the wooden ones. Might maybe put one inside, but I do have more of the paper kind of flowers here. So you could have them overhanging on this side because that's not going to interfere with the mechanism. Can you see when it opens and closes? So that one could maybe work along the bottom there, but I'm still not 100% sure with it. So I'm going to have a little play around. I've also got some hearts here. Maybe have a heart there. Um, I might stamp something. I do quite like that happy birthday, but I think it needs to be framed with this same kind of um, coral colour. I'm going to have a play around now and I'll be back when they're all done. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I really like this one with the happy birthday through the middle and then I've just got it plain inside because I do get a lot of people asking me if I can do maybe a 60th birthday card or a get well one and it, sometimes when I keep them plain like I could peel that off if I needed to because the foam does peel away and I can rub it off and stuff so I'm going to kind of stop here, leave it as it is. I'm just going to just notice the pencil mark there that I forgot to remove, so we'll just get rid of that, there we go. So I'm quite happy with that one, I'm gonna keep it as it is for now. And the same with this one, it is plain. What you can also do, and I might see if I can, you'll see it in the pictures, I might cut a ring, so I can do a, a, a coral ring around each of these circles here. It has to be very thin, but I think I'll be able to do it if I mix some of my circle dies together. I think the blue just needs a little bit of that coral on it as well. So I will have a little look. And then inside here, I've just put lots of love. I just think that's a nice card to send to someone just because. And uh, yeah, really pleased with it. So, you know, there's loads of scope there to decorate. I'll just bring back in again these two because you can see, you know, just how different they look. Again, the triple with the squares and that's all decorated inside. And then the double there, which is a retirement card. You can see how over the top you can decorate them and then again inside there. So yeah, you've got your double with your square and your circle and your triple with the square and the circle. So hopefully you've got lots of inspiration. All the measurements and everything will be in my blog and all of the items that I've used today, as much as I can find, will be shared in the description box below the video. Thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye.